Let's go inside the Strixon Tour Tech van and interview Rob, who's in charge of that program. Robert. Yes, sir. Martin Chuck. Good to see Great you. Great to be with you. Pleasure. Tour Staker Nation, I'm in the Strixon Equipment Tech van. Yes. Yeah, it's on tour. We are right beside the 11th hole at Riviera right now on a Tuesday. No uh, no people out there, just tour players. Yeah, I mean, they're not even having spectators for the Pro-Am this week, believe that or not. Unbelievable. Yeah, so it's very quiet, very quaint. It is. 70 players. Super peaceful. Cutting to 50. Hmm. Amazing. $20 million purse. I know, cha-ching. Yes. What did we do wrong? I don't know. I didn't see this in career day. <laughs> you know, when I talked to my counselor, but I did say I wanted to be a professional golfer, and I did play professional golf for a few years. I just wasn't this good. Right. But I had a good time. But Tour Sager Nation, I'm super excited. I just signed on with Strixon for two years. Nice. Two years. Super pumped. Here's the funny thing. I've already played their irons. I'm on my second set of Strixon irons anyway. I wore out a, seven, a set of 747s, like literally warm out. Loved them. They're fantastic. And now I've got the 7X7s. Um, so just kind of talk me through a day in the life of a tour tech guy. So, I mean, we'll, we'll get here on Monday and look at the field list, right? Yeah. And then figure out who, what players we have in the field. We stock up the players with balls, hats, and gloves. Right, right. And then kind of wait for emergencies after that. So sure, sure. So just whatever they need, we're here to take care of. Anything that can be built in the office, we can do here on site. We bet this trailer is fully stocked with irons, wedges, drivers, fairway woods, and hybrids, and utility irons, and every shaft known to man. So what's the, uh, give me a panic. Give me a panic situation. Um, Hideki. No, nah, Hideki's, Panda takes care of Hideki, okay. so we're kind of out of that loop. Panda, get over here, bud. Come here. So, come here. Come on in. So, come here. The biggest panic get that in. we get. Takes care of Hideki, this guy. Yeah. Right here, Masters Champion, takes care of his equipment. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so a panic situation would be when we get a phone call on Monday morning that their luggage didn't show up in their golf clubs. So we have everything in the computer with their specs, Yeah. and we just start building another set and have wow. everything ready for them from irons, wedges, to whatever's in the bag and have them ready to go in probably an hour and a half. That's unbelievable. That's fantastic. So. Give me, um, okay, your most, uh, I know Mike Weir's a good buddy of mine. Right. Super anal about his specs. What's your most uh, guy who gets in here and checks specs every week? Keegan Bradley. Keegan. Every week I'll get a text message that says, hey Rob, <laughs> <laughs> where are you? What's up? You know, and then I'll come in, if I'm, if I'm in the, I'll say, hey, I'm in the trailer or I'm on the range and I come in and his clubs are lined up perfectly. Okay. And that's just part of his maintenance to yeah. just know that everything is set. Right. Um, and, and his prep for the week. Just so no one questions, thing he can right? check off. He just no. says, hey, I know my seven irons. This is my loft. I feel good. I can hear yeah, it. I mean, and I, and we, normally, we'll, I mean, I'll check him. I'll surprise I hadn't heard from him this morning. Yet. Yeah. Um, just come in, run lines and lofts through, and then give him peace of mind that everything's set and ready to go. And that's just part of his prep for the week. Awesome. And we do. We're. We're pretty good about, I've got with the players and the caddies over the years, and every two to three weeks, everybody brings stuff in. As many balls as these guys hit, turf conditions change every week. Right. We just want to make sure that's one variable that they don't have to worry about. You don't want to have a seven iron in the last hole to make the cut or win the tournament, and it'd be off a half a degree, and a half a degree to these guys is a big deal. Yeah, yeah. If it's you know more loft, it's not going to go as far, a little too high, a little too yeah. spinny, a little too and strong, we send it. Yes, exactly. And we just want to make sure everything is set for these guys. How about Tour Sugar Nation? How often should uh, the amateur change his grips? I would say before every golf season. How about your buddy Slap? How should he... he he doesn't. He, he changes his grips more than he should. Does he? Yeah. He's got a good buddy, part of the tourist organization slap. <laughs> you know, you change your grips a lot. Apparently, you're a little bit of a psychotic golfer, but I love you. You're my people. And that's why the tourist organization, we have a good time at the golf school. Because right. golfers are fun, man. Oh, yeah, no doubt. We're all no little doubt. nuts. No, I always say, yeah. put your hand up if you suck at golf. Everybody does, because we all do. Yes. Whether you're a scratch, you're a tour player. And you can ask these guys out here, and they'll probably raise their hand, too. Amen. That's the beauty of the game. So, a couple technical questions. This is. Um, Walk me through this. So 198.6, is that a gram weight? Is that is a gram weight. Okay. Um, we were looking to have a target weight on that one of 202. Okay. Um, so we'll put some rack glue in there and change the weight in the bottom of the sole. Yeah, yeah. To match the weight that he has. This is for Ryan Fox. We'll match the weight that's in his head. Okay. And then we'll weight it up to um, 202 grams using the rack glue machine over in the back so corner. So Ryan Fox, if you haven't, Tourist of Your Nation, if you haven't seen this dude, go follow him. I love how unique his golf swing is. He's got this, I couldn't coach that swing, by the mm -hmm. way. If he came up and said, Martin, I want to take a left. He's from New Zealand, right? Yep. 
you know, I'd be like, mm, cause it's like one of those unique events that gets back to impact amazing. And the guy's a bear he and I'm amazed these faces don't cave in because I've seen it happens a lot with him. You know what I mean? We, it, he has tremendous ball speed. Unbelievable. He just hits the center of the face every time. It's, it's beautiful. To, I mean, you can say what you want about his golf oh, swing. No, no. It's very yeah. unorthodox to the tour standard or whatever. Right, right. But the guy doesn't miss it a shot and it, even better, he's just a great guy. Yeah, no, I, I've never met him, but it's like, I watch this guy, I'm like, that's, uh, so there's ways, obviously, Tour Circuit Nation, a lot of you come to golf, you learn, you know, maybe you had some time, your kids are out of the house, you want to play some golf, I get my hands on you, we teach you to get good hands, set up with, a, you know, basic fundamentals. Now, there's a lot of latitude, like, this dude's got a grip on there that I call it the motorcycle grip, but, man, he gets the club face on the ball like a boss and thunders it. Well, I'm thinking he's good for... I'm gonna go one win and uh, a playoff loss and a close second in a major. That that's would, my call that this would year. would not surprise me. That's not my call all. this year. I'm going one, that's what I'm saying. He's gonna be in the hunt in a major. Maybe he doesn't pull it off, we'll see. Hopefully he gets a little good bounce and we get some good luck. So you're going. You're getting a little in depth, adding some weight to this club head. So talk to me about like a three, like a three wood seems like one of those clubs a tour player in a hybrid. Kind of, you know, at my level it's a little bit, man, it's hard to get that three wood with the right spin. Spin and launch are key. You know and, what I mean? And you can find, it's, it's funny, you always find the three wood that's a heater, or you find, once you find one, you're, it's in the bag. That's usually the longest club that we see that, keep that, people stay, keep. that stays in the bag. And I mean, they'll beat it up until it caves in or breaks or whatever. Right. But I mean, Andrew Putnam, who's in the field this week, yeah. he's played one of our Cleveland Classics, and he still does. It's a Cleveland Classic DST, and I think it was from like 12 or 13 years ago. We got in the trailer one day and got on eBay and started. We found a couple and ordered them both. Isn't that crazy? Because he just, that's his three wood. And I mean, like you're saying, once you find one, you're sticking with it. I know. And it's, it's, uh, and for the tourist cigar nation out there, that's why, you know, life's too short to play golf with clubs that don't suit you. Yes. And so take the time, you know, like at my range, the Raven, we have the True Spec guys and they fit you. And they, they're big fans of all the Strixon gear. And then obviously, Strixon reps are nationwide. Now you got to get, Take time, okay? Take a good afternoon. Go meet your local rep. You don't have to make a purchase decision right away, but get in some hits. See what kind of feels nice. Listen for the sound. Ask what the spin numbers are for your physicality. I'm not very fast anymore. My record for the 100 meter dash, 80 meters. Almost made it. (laughs) No, but seriously, like your speed, like I'm like a, in my heyday, maybe 115. Now I'm like 104, 105 guy. And so I can't, I can't spin it the way I used to and nor, but on the driver, you know what I mean? Too much spin can rob you a distance and on the three wood and the hybrids as well. So it's like you want a good fitting. Somebody who's got some experience. Strixon people are amazing at it. You'll get some insights on how to best manage every part of your game. I mean, it's, I mean, the irons obviously speak for themselves. Now, I know there's a lot of excitement about this driver right now. Right. Everybody's telling me, you know, you got the low spins. Oh, this isn't the LS model, no, is he it? He doesn't play the LS. He doesn't need it. He's very spin deficient. Exactly. So He's got, got, yeah, so spin for those of you that or if you're wondering about it, so some if a golfer tra- if, a, if a golf club travels in here, it's got 10 degree aloft on here. If it's traveling level at the strike, that 10 degrees based on the speed is going to provide a spin on the ball so based on where impact happens. Let's call it dead center. Now, if you're exacerbating spin by hitting down on the ball, that adds additional friction, and that's something that with your coach maybe you can mitigate some of that downward strike. Now, if you have somebody that's level, or I'm gonna say like Ryan's probably up a few degrees, he is. that up event actually takes, would create top spin if all things being equal, if this was flat, but it's not flat, it's got 10 degrees of loft on it. So that hit up, and then you add the loft, you start to get this spin loft situation where you're actually taking spin off. So in Ryan Fox's case, you know, he doesn't need a low spin driver. Some of your low handicappers might, and I'm a, I'm a guy, I'm not, I'm not, able to kind of get into that position maybe it's my back years of hockey who knows what but i need like a low spin driver to optimize for me right you know so most i mean the average player truth be told they need something that spins more right keep it up in the air keep it in the air yeah get their distance i mean but everybody wants to everybody thinks they're a tour player and they're not no no and here's what i love about cirx on irons is that you're not, when I send people to get a fitting, I say, please don't buy the iron that goes the absolute farthest. Go buy the set of irons that give you, you the best carry numbers that are reliable. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, I, no, 100%. I hate when somebody shows up on my, on my lesson tee, I won't mention the manufacturers, and the eight iron's a cannon, 
and the seven iron's like not playable for them. And the six and five, they may as well leave in the garage because they don't have the right launch and spin through the set. And then I gotta give you guys credit. Like you guys have created irons that people can, whether it's a tour player or just Saturday afternoon guy, can go play and get the right launch, the right, right spin. Yeah. Obviously you gotta get a shaft match up for your right. physicality, but you know. And that, I mean, that's key. And that's, that's where you want to make sure you go to a good fitter. Oh, and totally. Somebody that is very reputable, that's gonna be honest with you and take the time to do it the right way. Yeah. So quick history on Strixon. Give me the, when was it founded? Golly. Give me the they general. Me. Probably, I mean, I wanna say probably looking around 30, at least 30 years. Sumitomo Rubber Company, right? Correct. Originally? Originally. Okay, so tires and just massive manufacturing. Somebody loved golf, obviously, to make the investment in a golf. Right. Made a squillion golf balls over the years for a bunch of different people. You guys got a great golf ball trusted by yes. tour players. And then, so how did the whole um, Cleveland Strixon Union come to pass? That was probably, if I'm gonna, I should know this, but I think it's 16 years ago. 16 um, years ago, merger, that's good enough happened. for the nation. They just want to rough there. Um, we're not playing so Triple we're, Pursuit. We merged yep. the Cleveland Strixon brand and then, you know, been doing it, doing it ever since. I mean, you'll see the, more of the focus on the Cleveland side, on the wedges and the yep. putters and the short game area. Mm -hmm. Strixon's the premium brand for the irons and the driver and the fairway woods. Awesome, awesome. And then the other piece is Zexio. Zexio. So Zexio, I fit some, I, you know, some of my some of my clients that are a little bit older, lighter gear, super hot face, the stuff almost swings itself. It's, it's beautiful it's, stuff. It is a huge advantage for guys like my age that lose hip loss spin. I mean, and dude, and you're speed. not that old. I'm not, but I mean, I'm I'm getting there where I'm about ready to order a whole set of Zexios. But <laughs> it just the average player, guys in their fifties and sixties and seventies that have lost yeah. speed that are still good players. I mean, I've seen cases where in demo days that. We've changed guys' lives. It's like, guy, I can hit seven or yeah, yeah. 55 yards again. Now I'm hitting 125. So if it does launch the ball up in the air, it spins yeah. it more and it carries further. Well, it's funny. The true spec guys have a big bag of Zexio stuff right there at the range. You know what I mean? So it's real nice. See, this is a really bad. I'm like, come here for a second. I pop this thing in their hands and hit when they're like, oh. Yeah. You know what I mean? And Lighter. I, I, mean, see, I see it all the time at home at the club. Yeah, that's fantastic. So obviously i like this this is cool this is cute i like how you got the drill press with the golf balls on it of course rick's on brand right, golf ball absolutely um what's so walking through the equipment line loft machine this is for when keegan bradley gives you a hard time i guess no that's for here. stamping wedges so oh stamping stamp wedges. okay that's, that's fine well. um obviously you're going to cut some shafts in here you're going to rough up some rough up some shafts with the epoxy sticks what other little goodies in here that uh the nation needs to know about this is the basics I mean, right just the basics i mean our yeah. ruler we've got set right here yep measure everything what's the stock length right now most guys play um pretty much standard I mean, we got some guy on the driver yeah 45 45 pretty much our standard on tour i mean guys yeah. go shorter ryan's okay. shorter and some guys go a quarter inch longer yeah i mean the usj set a max so that's his right 48 right yeah no uh, it's less than that is it really yeah it's under 46. oh it is yes oh i didn't know that i thought i should get get with the program so um but most of our guys are you know nothing it's funny nothing that the general public can't get right the tour players get too so i mean it's not nothing is special out here it's right. just how it's built and how it's prepped for that person yeah yeah, yeah. no I totally get it totally get it well i'll tell you what i've uh nice spending some time with you thanks yeah. for having me Pleasure. in here. i know the tourist trigger nation we're gonna enjoy just kind of a little walk inside of a tour tech van because they don't get to do this this is pretty cool and it, we're at riviera by the way Pretty special place. A lot of great Very. golf has been played here. Hogan's Alley. Oh, I call it Mike Weir's Alley. So, <laughs> Tourist Raker Nation, Martin Chuck signing off from the Strixon Tour Tech Band. Hope you guys have a great day.